All right, now let's just start with basics for free body diagrams. Um, the four forces that you're going to look for every single time you draw a free body diagram. Number one, gravity, which is FG. Okay, gravity 99.99% of the time is going to exist. Okay, the second one you're going to look for, normal force. which is Fn. That only exists when it's on a surface. The next one you're going to look for, applied force. Okay, push, pull, lift, etc. The last one, will be friction. Generally, they'll tell you if there's friction or it'll be easy enough to know, oh, there is friction. Okay, so let's start with the first example. I have a box sitting on a table. We always just draw a box, right? Our free body diagram, our object is always a square. Easy to draw, nothing to get confused about it, okay? First thing we look for, is there gravity? Yes. FG always goes straight down, okay? Now, the next thing, is there a normal force? Well, is it on a surface? Yes, it's on a table. Fn is drawn perpendicular to the surface that the object is on. In this case, perpendicular is straight up. Are there any other forces acting on the object? Is there a push, a pull? No. Is there friction? No. It's not moving, so it can't have any friction at all. Now we go to our equations. Are there any forces acting in the x direction? No. So I don't have any x direction equations. The only forces I have acting on the object are in the y plane. So I'm only going to have y equation. So I always start with f net. I have two options for the net force. It's either in equilibrium or it's accelerating. Because the box is sitting on the table, not moving, we automatically know it's in equilibrium. So I'm going to set this equal to zero. From there, we go to the next step and say, okay, what are the forces that give me, that we combine to get the net force. So now I'm going to just break it down. Well, how do I know what's acting on the object? Look at the free body diagram. What forces did you draw on your free body diagram? Well, I have Fn. It's positive. Then I have Fg. So, we know the net force is the sum of the forces. Add them together. That's it. Okay, so let's try another one. A ball is accelerating down from the sky, assuming no friction. So I have my object. It's falling. So, does it have gravity? Yes. Is it on a surface? No. It's falling in the sky. It cannot touch a surface. So therefore, it does not have the normal force. There is no friction and there is no applied force. That's it. That's the only thing acting on the object. 
There are no x direction or horizontal equations, so I just put an x there. The only thing I have in the y direction is one force. So we said it is accelerating, which is m times a, and we know the only force acting on it is the force of gravity. Now, technically, the force of gravity is negative because it's going down. The object's acceleration is always in the same direction as the net force, in this case, down. So therefore, the acceleration is also negative. We know that these two negatives would cancel out eventually. So you don't necessarily have to put them. Okay. Next step. A ball is falling at a constant speed from the sky with friction. So I draw my box. Fg always goes down. In this case, we have friction. Friction goes the opposite direction of motion. So that means friction is going to go up. The object is falling. Opposite of down is up. Still no x direction equations. We still start f net y equals. It says constant speed. Constant speed means the object is not accelerating. Therefore, it is in equilibrium. So it's equal to what? Zero. The next step. We have a positive direction force, so I'm going to write that first. Okay, I'm going to change the plus a minus into subtraction. That's it. Okay, now we can try an object that is moving horizontally. We always start by drawing gravity. Is the object on a surface? Yes. I hope a sled that's being pushed is on a surface. Because it says the word push, I know it has an applied force. It tells us in the problem, no friction. So I don't have to draw any other forces acting on the object. In this problem, I have both x and y direction. So I'm going to do an f net x and an f net y. It says it's increasing velocity. So that means it is accelerating. Which direction is it accelerating in? It's accelerating in the direction of motion. In this case, horizontal. So I'm going to set f net x equal to m times a. The object is not moving in the y direction, so I'm going to say it's in equilibrium or not accelerating in the y direction. So I'm going to write 0. The y direction is going to look very similar to our first y direction. It's the x direction that's going to be different. The only force that I have in the y direction is the applied force. So that's all I have to write. The applied force is causing the object to accelerate. 